Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth uh, episode of uh, this Flutterflow for beginner course. So uh, as you can see here uh, on the screen we are going to see uh, a new widget today. So it, this widget is called list view. So let's see what do I mean by list view. So uh, as you can see here so I have uh, a set of images. So this is a, a, an average uh, page of an app. So if I drag Click it on this uh, image and drag it upwards so you see that there is a list so that that's great and uh, this one is vertical so let's take a look at the, the, this one so this this one is not vertical it is a horizontal one so I would drag it right and left so that's what we call a list view so a list view is a list of items that can be scrollable so that's what uh, what do we mean by a list view so uh, let me show you here so I can get it back uh, to how it was by dragging it upward or down if you like. So that's pretty much what we are going to build today. And uh, actually before we start I hope you have learned very well uh, what we have seen in the previous episodes. So I hope that you now know what are the columns, uh, containers. And if you don't understand what this means, actually, I, I highly recommend you go back and watch these tutorials. Uh, you will see, you will find them in this playlist or in the link in the description down below. So you will find them, go ahead and watch them so you can understand what they mean and what they do and how you can build apps with them. But if in case you follow this playlist from the first episode to this one and you have learned what a column is and what container is so then you are good to go with the, this one so now i will click i will uh, close this tab this one also and i will also remove everything i have made and i will start building from scratch so here we have the home page the home page so it has a uh, up bar as a children and i what i will do is i will add a new children which is a column so this is by default because uh, whenever you build an app everything must be or the first parent must be uh, a column if you like but uh, in future episodes we will see that you can use other things uh, such as container instead of column but for now uh, let's keep uh, working with column so uh, I want to add a list view so the first thing to do and actually uh, don't think why you should do this but just do it and in future episodes we will see what we will do this so uh, before I create a list of items I will start by adding a container and I will try to format it so uh, this container is the child of the column so I will go to the column and I will make all of its children uh, in the center of uh, this page so I will click on the column and click uh, I will go here and actually click on this button so you see that the container moved to the center of the page and then I will go back to the container I will add some padding to make it uh, far from the edge of the up bar so I will add some space in here let's say 10 so I will remove this and uh, actually let's keep it let's add 10 to the four sides and I want uh, actually the, conti the container to be a little bit wide so I will go back to the width and uh, I if you want uh, the container to, to take the, the full width the full width of uh, of uh, of the page then you can just click here so it took the, the full width of the page and I want it for example to take 50% uh, of the page so uh, this is the whole page I wanted to take it to 50% and I don't want to go and meter the height of the page I can just get, click here and this here we have the pixels and so here we have pixels and instead of uh, using pixels I want to use percentage I will click here and I will add 50 so that looks great so this is our container and uh, actually inside that container we are going to see how we can add a list view so this is a container so it's a child of this column so inside that container I will add a list view so here is our list view so I will add list view and they tell you that uh, uh, this list view is or will be vertical so because uh, 
it's uh, just like a column so everything you will add inside uh, this list view will be listed vertically so if you want a list view to be horizontal so you can click on this list view and uh, uh, turn axis from vertical to horizontal and you will see that it will be a horizontal list but for now let's keep uh, working with vertical because we want we will add another container here that will contain a horizontal list so just like how we see in the example so now uh, as I told you here I have my list so uh, every list must has uh, or must have some sort of children's of uh, or items if you like so uh, just to make things simple I will add images because they are easy to work with so inside this list view I will add uh, an image so just a random image of uh, whichever there is so that's an image I will add another image actually you can click here so you can you will have to first open the list view to see its uh, children so here we have an image you, so if you want to make another image you mainly have two options the first one is to right click on this image and click on duplicate this will make the same image twice but we want to see different images to to have some fun so I will add another image so it will be this one so let's say or let's add four images so third one and we have the fourth one so as you see that uh, these images uh, are stuck to each other so there is no such spacing between these items so to make them a little bit more space between and uh, to have more space between an image and another one so I will go back to so always play with properties so there is nothing that is hard to understand but all you have to do is to play around with the properties so the, I will click on list view and I will go down here and as you can see here we have uh, item spacing or item spacing so I will add chain for example so you see that between these images we have some sort of spacing so let's add uh, 50 so 50 looks good so we have more spacing here so uh, this is that's it so we have made uh, our list so let me explain to you so here we have a column a column has it has a container as a children and that container is uh, the parent of the list view so inside that container we have added a list view and inside that list view so just uh, it's obvious every list view must uh, have uh, some items to scroll over so now uh, without uh, any further I do I will try to run that and see if things are working very well or that there is some issue to be fixed so I will click on run and see what's going to happen so I already have a session so I will just click here to get back to my session and I will wait for a little for a couple of minutes for this to run so now here is our example so you see now here is uh, what we call the run mode or the test mode so we are testing things so I will try to scroll and see if my list works very well or not so I try so that's very nice so it's uh, it is working very well and you see that uh, the same spacing we have between all of these images so that's uh, very nice so it's working so you see it's it's just like a it is actually a list view so now uh, just like how we saw in the previous example so uh, we have or we will have to make the same list but this time it must be horizontal I want to scroll uh, horizontally not vertically so so here we have a column so I will get back to I, w I don't want to make the same process because that's uh, time consuming so here is a column we have a column so it, w it has uh, this container so I will I will rename it and uh, call it uh, vertical vertical list so that's good and this is the vertical list and here we will have the horizontal list so I will click right click on this one and click on duplicate so once you have duplicate that you will have two lists so the first one is horizontal and the, uh, is vertical so and the second one is vertical too so this is the the difference between the first one and the second one but uh, I will go back to this list which is the copy I will rename it and the instead call it I will call it a horizontal list and uh, if I want it to be horizontal then I will have to play around with its properties so like we saw with the previous one 
click on, I will click on the last view and uh, change the axis from vertical to horizontal and that's pretty much it so we have done that so we have a first one we where we can scroll here and we will scroll vertically and this time or in this uh, one we will scroll uh, horizontally so let's try this out and uh, actually i will click on instant reload and uh, because i have made some changes so whenever you make some changes and you still have a session running click on instant reload instead of going back here I click on this one just go here so i don't have uh, as you see here i don't have uh, I don't have my list because I have edited, edited this here and I don't have it right here so I can click again on instant reload and see what's gonna happen so as you can see here so I have made uh, I have made it so don't worry about this one I will show you how you can fix this one but now let's try if I can scroll horizontally in this list view so let's try it so it's working it's working very well so that's very nice let's try the, the, the this one so that's working too but uh, uh, hopefully this issue was made so let's try and fix this issue so the, the reason why uh, you you have this issue is that uh, this this uh, or if you added the, the size of this container and the size of this container and also if you consider the size of uh, the up bar so if you add them also you will have uh, a screen that he that is more than 390 so that's why so this means that you went out of the, the the size of the screen that's why i will fix this issue so and it's really an opportunity to show you something very cool so uh, here we have the up bar the up bar so uh, uh it has uh, so it's, its properties so they, they say the upper height so there is no height so i would in, instead of adding pixels I will add a percentage I want the upper to take for example 10% of the whole screen and I will give 45 to the first list and another 45 to the second list so 45 plus 45 is 90 plus 10 is 100 it is 100% so let's try that so it, it took t so the upper height is 10% of the whole page so I will do the same for the vertical list, which is this one. So as you can see here, uh, actually we have uh, the height of this is uh, 50 is uh, or uh, it's taking 50% of the whole page. But as I told you, I want to give this 10%. This is I want to give uh, 45 to each of these lists you see here. So I will add 45 and I will go to the horizontal list and I will give also 45%. So when working with percents, so you will avoid having this issue. So you saw here, so you will avoid that issue because uh, uh, the sum of the percentage or the height of uh, all of the widgets you will have inside your app will be 100%, which is the full size of the page. So you won't go out of the page. So that's really important when building apps with Flutterflow or with whatever no code you like. So now let's see the changes. So it will take some time. I will skip it for now. So now actually, as you see here, the, uh, I don't have this issue anymore. So I have fixed something that I will show you right now. So this uh, or this container, each one of this container, I forgot to uh, remove the padding. So we saw previously that, for example, if I added a padding, for example, uh, for this horizontal list, if I added 10, 10 pixels padding on uh, on the uh, the bottom so uh, if i added that that means i have added uh, uh, or i if that means for example if uh, i made it more height or more or if i made it higher than it was because uh, this padding is a spacing and uh, so to help you more understand uh, i will try to add 10 on the bottom and the 10 on the top so you see that uh, it took uh, more space so it went out of that 100 percent so you will see that what's gonna happen once i have added that padding so i will hope uh, we will see still have the same error to show you to better show you what uh, what do i mean and how you can uh, uh, fix issues you will face when building your app so you see that we have this uh, this issue so because uh, uh, once or when we gave this uh, container 
45 percent so uh, and this one 45 percent and this one 10 percent so the, the the height of this page was occupied so if you added a padding to one of these uh, uh, widgets so it will go out of that page or it will go out of the height of the page so that's and let's try to remove that uh, padding and see now what's gonna happen and whether we will have the same issue or not so let's see it so now as you can see we don't have this error anymore so I can scroll here with freedom I can do the same so we don't have any error so so that's what we call a list view so I hope you learned something new and uh, actually as I used to tell you at the end of each of uh, my videos uh, or each of episode in this course so you won't learn anything by just watching so I hope I highly recommend you go to the link in the description down below download this project so I will uh, leave it and uh, you can download it from the link in the description down below and uh, actually you can go go ahead and uh, open a new tab so as we did with, with the container so I will uh, so I will show you how you can deal with this so you won't have any problem so let's say this is further flow and uh, so so just uh, this is the project you when once you have done with that or once you have uh, gotten the link of this uh, project so I will highly recommend you open a new tab and uh, for example create a new project call it whatever you want and create blank so I will just show you how things work so I will skip everything I don't want to do anything so once you have this on a tab and a new project on a new tab so I want you to actually watch the video or the tutorial over and over again so you can understand and if you want to go and apply that I highly recommend you open that project or that exercise or this exercise in a new tab and see how things work see how I I have added a column and uh, how or what properties I have changed so just discover this and uh, by doing this over and over again so we will learn Flutterflow easily and fast so I, I highly recommend you check it from the description down below and uh, if you are my Patreon uh, member you will get it for free and uh, if you don't if you aren't a member so do it now and uh, by doing that you will get uh, exclusive content or exclusive uh, access to uh, some of my content or uh, some tips and tricks that I share on Patreon and that might not be uh, on YouTube so just uh, you can get it from there and also you can get all of the examples templates and uh, exercises uh, I work with I build with you in this course you will get them on my Patreon page and you can also uh, actually I can reply to all of your questions so as you can see here I will show you what you will get by me by becoming my Patreon page so you can just pay a, a decent amount of money so it's not that big so you will get all of the examples and templates I work with you and I build on YouTube especially for this course and you can also get uh, replies to all of your questions and comments here so you can go here ask whatever you want and comment whatever you want I will answer that and that's my pleasure to help people learn no code uh, in no time so that's pretty much it I hope you learned something new don't forget to go and apply apply what you learn because once you apply you will learn faster and all I can say now is thank you for watching and see you in the next episode